In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can automatically farm gems, even while you're AFK, on Anime Adventures. Now, this video is going to be a full guide on how to do it completely automatically, and it's super OP. You can get yourself, like, maybe 10 to 20k gems per day, completely AFK, completely automated. Now before I get into the video, I just want to say please make sure you watch this video the whole way through and pay close attention to ensure you get every step correct and don't miss anything out. Now with that being said, let's get right into this. So the first thing we actually need to do is we need to go onto Google and download something called Tiny Task. So you can just go into Google here, type in Tiny Task like this, go to here and download the EXE. Now something I would notice is that you can't actually get tiny task on mobile or anything like that. So you have to do this on, on a computer. So once we've got that, we just need to go here and we're going to click on it and it's going to open up like this. So that's all we need to do for tiny tasks. So now I'm going to open back up Roblox and okay, I need to tab out there. So I've tabbed out and, and um, what we're going to do is we need to set this up first so we need to go to preferences here and basically tiny tasks is like an automation tool to help you automate this whole process so first we need to go here we need to set this to one time speed we need to put continuous playback on we need to set a recording hotkey i like f12 for recording and then playback i like f8 but you've got to pick which ones you want and those are basically the only settings that you need for this so now that we've sort of set this up we can go ahead and get into this so you actually can do this with any uh, loadout. You don't need any good units, really. Uh, I've got these guys. Just pick your best ones, really, and the ones you, you know how to use the best. But you don't have to be uh, good at all. So what you do need to have is you do need to have uh, Marines Ford. And I'll show you why in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this play area here. And this is where we're actually going to set up the automation. So I'm going to come ahead here and go into one of these places and we're going to go into marines forward and we actually want to go to the infinite mode here and we need to select it like this and we don't want anyone else to come in with us so i'm just going to hit start and hope that no one jumps in here last second so one of the keys to this is that you just need to be um very careful with like the automation that you make and you will probably have to make this a few times so it might take you like an hour to get this set up correctly but once you get it set up correctly it's going to be OP so as we travel into here what we need to do we need to get tiny task ready I'm just going to put this on the window next to me so I can see that it's working and I need to get ready to press F12 so just wait a second and the second I get into it, I need to press F12 so F12 and I've started recording so I'm going to go up here to vote start and I'm just going to spam this button here for a second because this is what um, it would look like so now I'm going to go back I'm just going to zoom out and now I'm going to get one of my um, units and I'm just going to place it here and I hope this one is okay I'm going to skip this wave I'm going to spam the skip wave button and I'm actually going to press 2 and I'm going to put this unit here. So basically one of the keys is that you do need to sort of spam the buttons quite a lot. So just like spam the buttons quite a lot to ensure that you do actually um, place them because if you don't then you might end up not placing them and obviously you will lose. So just spam the buttons a lot, the ones that you're clicking. So at the moment we're recording this gameplay right now, I pressed, pressed F12 like the second we got into it. And yeah, so I'm just going to keep placing units here. Um, something I'd recommend, don't place them right over here because they're less likely to do um, uh, a lot of damage once you upgrade them because their, their area will get up, so you're kind of wasting the area. So I'm just clicking here. And basically, you just want to just spam, click, place them, basically. And I'm going to focus on just placing them all first. And then in a second, I will... Um, in a second, I will focus on upgrading them all. Cool. 
And I think I've got maybe one more of this guy here. No, I've, I've done all of him. So I'm just focusing on placing all of the people that I can. And you can probably hear me clicking so many times like this. So basically you want to go ahead, just place all your units like where you would. And I might place one here. Okay, so I can't have any more of that unit. And I'm just going to place a few of these guys here because these ones are pretty good to increase strength. So, now that we've got all my units placed, I can actually just literally focus on upgrading them. So I'm just going to uh, start with this guy here. And I'm literally just going to upgrade, just spam upgrade like that. And it will say not enough money, but like you might have enough money in different rounds. So you can see like now I've got a bit more money. I'm going to go to another guy. I'm going to just upgrade him. And basically you just have to wait until the rounds are over. Now you can press the skip round button if you like. So skip wave. I'm just going to spam that here. Because it's very easy. And now I'm just going to literally focus on just upgrading these guys. I remember I have been recording this whole thing um, with the tiny task tool and I'll show you what to do with it in a minute. It's important you keep watching as well because there's a couple steps at the end that you do need to know because um, they are important for making it work properly. So, nice. Um, we could skip the wave to be honest. I think he's quite strong so I'll just I'll keep him. I'll keep the wave for now. Okay, nice. Now something important is don't really, you don't want to uh, move your mouse. So you can see, when I say move your mouse, you don't want to move your character. So you can see I've stayed in the same position the whole time, I've just moved my keys. That's pretty important to remember. So he is taking some damage. I'd like a bit more, so I'm going to upgrade some of these characters more. I'm just going to click upgrade, even though I can't. I'm just going to do it just in case I do have like enough money in, in, in other rounds. Now, as I said, this might take you a few goes to get this correct. And the reason for that is you might set it up a bit wrong. Your timing might be a little bit off. Um, which is why you just have to... Yeah, you might just have to take it a few times. It might take you an hour or so to actually get this set up. But once it's set up, you can literally leave it on repeat all day which is OP. Well, on wave seven already. Oh, and you can actually see I'm already getting gems up here. Like you can see how many gems I'm actually getting from this already. So I've just got 21 gems so far. And at the end I'll get a nice gem bonus, but this is getting a ton of gems, which is, you know, what we're here for. So I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade a few more people. Nice. Now I hope I don't struggle with this because if I do it's annoying but I think I'm going to be pretty okay with it to be fair. Now you can press skip wave if you want but obviously it is a bit more risky. So I'm actually getting quite a lot of money now. I'm able to like upgrade my characters quite a bit. Uh, is there anyone else that needs an upgrade? Uh, I can't afford that one. Yeah I'll upgrade him. But you can see I'm gaining just a lot of gems, which is really good. And I'll show you how much you gain every single round at the end as well. But as I said, make sure you watch the whole thing so that you do know how to set up the end bit. Because if you don't, you'll probably mess it up. And again, you can press skip wave, but it's a bit risky. But it will make it faster for you to get gems. So you'll get more gems per day. But that's really up to you if you want to risk it. Depends how strong your units are as well, really. Okay, nice, we've got 6k now, so I'm going to upgrade him. And you see I'm just clicking and spamming. The reason I'm doing that is just in case I do have money in other rounds. 
just in case something's happened. And we're on wave 10 already, pretty quick. We've got the marine battleship, which I think should be pretty easy for us to get through, to be honest. If I look at the radius of some of my characters, they're like pretty big. Like, you know, is, is he can hit him from anywhere, basically. So the battleship's taking a decent amount of damage now. Yeah, it's taking a lot of damage once it gets into that area. So this should be pretty easy for me to get through. Yeah, once it gets up to here, super easy. And look, I'm getting more gems every single time. Okay, I'm going to upgrade this guy a bit. Have we got anyone else to upgrade? Don't believe we do. I hope the marine battleship is going to be destroyed. Yeah, that is a bit close, but it's it's fine. That's why I wouldn't skip rounds. It waves because in case like something like that does slip through, then you might struggle. And how are we doing? Upgrade you. Nice. I could place these guys as well, but I don't really think they're that necessary for me. I think I can beat this without them. These guys are pretty strong. Like these guys are doing some of them are doing nearly a thousand. And this guy's only doing like 50, so it's not really worth it. And we're on wave 12 already. So as you go up, it will take a bit longer each time. Um, so you will be waiting near the end, but that's fine. And how are we doing? Who do we want to upgrade? Upgrade you. Do we have anyone else that's in my range? In the price range, you upgrade you. And this battleship is going down very easily, as you can see. So make sure you basically lay it out sort of similar to what I've done because you don't want to do them too close to here. And the reason for that is that once you upgrade the radius, you won't be using the full amount of the radius because it'll be going into here, into that bit there. So you want to put them around here so they can use this full circle here which is um, you know what we want. We want them to be able to use the full space. And so far we're gaining tons of gems, which is very nice, and we'll get a gem bonus at the end. And this, is, this will be completely automated. You could even, you could even set up like um, other, other computers and stuff if you wanted to. Or you could do this for your friends and get them to pay you, which would be cool <laughs> or mean, however you look at it. Because this method is pretty OP and it's completely allowed by them as well. There's nothing against this. I just realized I've got a load of money that I need to upgrade some stuff with. And yeah, we can see this guy's getting a nice buff right now and he is very strong. This guy's not really standing much chance here. Okay, we're taking, yeah, he's taking tons of damage. And we got some more stuff to upgrade some people. Who are we going to upgrade? Spam you. And again, even though I can't actually upgrade them, just click on them just in case you can in uh, different games. Because different games you will have different amounts of money, weirdly enough. And as I said, feel free to skip waves if you would like to, although I wouldn't recommend it for the long term. But it, if you skip every single wave, then you will gain like 20% more gems. So it will be like substantially more, but it's more risky because if it fails, then it might ruin your automation and you don't want that basically. How's this doing? That's doing good. Mm. 
don't even know what they're shooting at there. Need to upgrade a few more people. Nice. Nice. Oh, upgraded him. I don't even know how. Yeah, you don't know the timings of the money as well, which is why you would want to spend a little bit of time um, just spamming the upgrade button. So we're at wave 15 already. We've gained 50 gems in about 10 minutes. So that's pretty good. If you gain 50 gems every 10 minutes, that's about um, 300 gems an hour or something. Maybe more than that. Now, 300 gems an hour about that, which is pretty good. If you leave that on for... Um, a day you can be gaining like 5,000 gems per day which is pretty good and if you do this faster and with the bonus we're going to get at the end then it's um, it's really worth it you can gain so many more from that so it's getting a little bit tougher now I think we're going to be okay though I like these guys because they kind of do like splash damage in a way it's so like here he can just spray down the whole line which is good which is like why I like those ones They've got a lot more range, whereas if it's here, it like it's not very straight, so it doesn't hit them all. It just hits like one at a time. So you kind of want them front on with these kind of guys. That's what I've learned at least. It's getting a little bit hard to see the characters now, so yeah. So how are we doing? The marine battleship, pretty easy. And we're going to go up soon and get some more gems. Nice, looking good. How are we getting through here? Is this looking easy or not? Uh, how is this? boat looking can't even see okay yeah it's a little bit it's a little bit uh, sketchy around here now like it's getting a little bit tough up here but I think we're gonna be okay everything is literally on fire now but yeah I think we're okay we've still got a lot of range as well even if they did get past they can still get hit for like a long while which is good Uh, we've still got more money, more upgrades. Now, it's getting a little bit harder to upgrade them now. Like, less of them, there's not many. Oh, we can upgrade him. Oh, no, we can't. We can't even upgrade him. This guy has got... Nice, and you can see, look how many gems we're gaining. This is going to be OP, especially once we put this on autopilot. So basically, they get to a point once you've upgraded everything, or there should be, as long as you kind of do it in, if, as long as you position your guys properly. But as I said, make sure that you do position your guys like well, and and also you may have to do this a few times because um, you may position them wrong in the first one, or something might go on. So. Yeah, there's that. It's not it's a bit it's not ideal, but you know, there's not much you can do. This guy's doing a lot of damage now, I've noticed. Look at that. We don't seem to be having any issues so far, which is very good. And basically if you can if you've got into this um a map like this world where you're going up against these people then you should be pretty good against them for the most part possibly struggling over here on this one a little bit there we got it last second which is fine not ideal but it's not too bad this is why I like these guys because they've got all this splash damage as well like I was saying So basically you just have to literally play this while you're recording. I'm still recording right now. It's been 16, nearly 17 minutes so far when we're recording. And I think we're about to get a boss, which I'm a bit scared about. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through that. 
let's hope that we can okay we're getting through this and then basically once we if we do die then what we can do is we can um just automate that so up to this level so you'd know like okay we get to wave 20 each time and we're going to get like 72 gems which is um you know pretty good i don't mind that especially consider you're leaving on autopilot now make sure you watch the end so i'll show you how you can play it all right now <laughs> i don't know i don't we're not going to get through this there's no chance we're getting through this <laughs> just the uh, <laughs> the sheer amount of um people we have here there's there's no chance we're getting through this <laughs> the sheer amounts of boats here look there's no chance and the boss yeah we've we've lost here but that's fine we've gained our um we've gained a decent amount of gems and we'll be able to automate this so yeah So we'll just have to wait until um, we do die, which might take a second. But it doesn't matter because we'll gain a few more gems while we're at it. And now, obviously, the better units you have, the more um, the more, da more damage you're going to do, the more waves you'll get through successfully, which will be uh, <laughs> better for you, obviously. Now, I, it's really tempting to, like, look uh, how long till the ships make it there and that kind of stuff, but don't do that because you'll mess up your recording. Just make sure you... Um, make sure you uh, stay focused and just play for the automation and for the long game. So we're almost, almost done. Almost done. Just see, get the last few gems, and then once it ends, I'll show you what we need to do. I actually could have upgraded a few more things. I could do that now. I don't know if it's worth it. And I feel, feel like any second now we should be about to get for Yep, there. <laughs> right there, we get finished. And that's game over. So now what we want to do is we want to just leave it here for a second. I'm going to leave it here for like a minute. And the reason for that is this screen is just going to stay there. And it might take a bit while longer for this screen to pop up like that. So just just um, leave it there for like a little bit. Just in case anything sped up or slowed down. Because obviously you can just... Um, this screen will just stay here. So just wait here for a second. As long as you'd like. The longer the better, the safer. And then once you think it's been enough time, you can go down to next... And you want to spam that button. You literally want to spam it. Then you want to go up here to replay. And you want to literally spam the replay button. Now we just want to wait. It's going to teleport us to the lobby. And once we get into the lobby, we can actually go ahead and wait and then we can almost we can stop our recording so remember to stop our recording with press f12 so make sure you do that and don't click because if you click then it's gonna set some weird loop up so once we see the bit start at the top we can press f12 okay i press f12 and the recording is stopped now i can press f8 and boom you can see boom it's now started the recording and i'm not even touching the keys right now we'll see if it works it probably possibly won't Let's have a look. Might not have matched up everything right. Yeah, so I haven't actually matched up the um, the scroll out. So that's something I messed up. So I'd have to do it again. But basically what you'd want to do is you'd want to um, scroll out with, I think it's zero possibly. No, not zero. There's a, there is a scroll out button, which I should. So yeah, I should have pressed that instead of the scroll wheel, which had helped me out there. But that's completely fine. It doesn't really matter because we just have to re-record it. But it's not the end of the world. So basically it's how you do it. Now, 
If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe. And also comment down below that this video did help so that other people watching this video know that it's a good video to watch and they can also get the same help from it. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.